Tony, you are like over the point today. You had a man advantage for half now. What are your thoughts on the still size performance here today? I think we, we controlled the game. Um, you know, even in the first half, we controlled the game very well. We had to be aware of some transition moments um, from Brisbane, but I thought away from home, we did very well in the first half. Um, in the second, obviously, we had the advantage. Um, you know, unfortunately, we couldn't, couldn't break him down. Um, we'll talk for you about the heat here today in Redcliffe. How do you think you'll so cope with that out there today? I think very well. If you have a look at the whole game, I thought we did very well uh, up until the, um, the send-off for them, which obviously uh, gave us even more ascendancy. Um, but unfortunately, in the final third, we were lacking that final pass, final shot, final decision. Um, yeah, just didn't, didn't uh, happen. A couple of heavy cat flashes out there for Nick Dagstein. So how's he feeling? Is he, all, is he OK? I haven't seen him as yet, but um, you know he's, he's a strong boy. He's a he's a real real fighter, and you know I'm sure he'll be he'll be okay. You um, you substituted Nani in the I think 77th minute. Um, mm. Was it was that heat related, or was that why did you do that? No, I just changed him. Yeah, what did you make of his performance? There's some nice touches there. Could have um, easily uh, scored. Yeah, he's, look, he's a top player. He had, I think he was in total control in the first half. We just got to find ways to. Um, he had some good shots. Trying to get him uh, more, uh, more involved in that final third, you know. So, um, had some good actions. He had a head up just before he came off, you know, a good chance. So, we didn't make the most of a lot of uh, corners that we had that dropped around the six yard. Um, yeah, overall, you know, it's a game when it pans out the way it did, you should win. Um, it's our first clean sheet, which is a positive because uh, we've been conceding uh, in all the games. So that's a positive. Um, but you know we've got to um, find a way to be a bit better in that final third and more composed. So the defensive line was a big plus you take out of this in the next week to, from today's game. I think you always do. You know I think you always do when you you know it's away from home. We're playing the Heat, uh, difficult match. I thought from the start for an away team, I thought we controlled the game very well for the first 45 minutes, um, and uh, you know in the second half. Things changed obviously with uh, the send off, but I thought overall we had a good game, just lacked a little bit in the in the box really. <coughs> and, you, and you've been scoreless to your last three matches, so how mm. do you go about rectifying that in the future? Yeah, you're right, we, we have to rectify that. We rectified one thing today by having a clean sheet, which we've found difficult to do in the first three games. Um, so, from a lack of opportunities, I, I think uh, today we had numerous opportunities, but um, whether it was we lacked the cutting edge or uh, the final ball was a little bit delayed, and, and obviously you've got to give the opponent credit as well. You know they defended very well. The keeper made some saves. Um, they were very desperate around the box, and um, you know it's a credit to them. And how did you assess that red card call? Uh, look, it's a red card. Obviously, if he's gone to VAR, it's a red card. I, I thought at the time that the the keeper uh, was a bit late, but. Um, the referee didn't give it at the time, and obviously that's what we've got VAR for. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.